in quality management and especially statistical quality control, many calculation methods require a normal distribution of values. One example is some quality control charts. Various methods can be used to test whether a normal distribution is present. This lesson discusses exclusively the kolmogorov smirnov slash Lilyforce normality test. I will show the whole way of calculation in Excel and create the chart shown here. On the one hand, the kolmogorov smirnov test can be used to check whether two samples have an identical but unknown distribution. This is called a two-sample test. On the other hand, it can be checked whether a sample follows a previously defined probability distribution. This is called a one-sample test. This lesson is about the example shown here. A random sample was taken from a population. The table shows the measured values of 20 diameters. So, this is a one-sample problem. The population parameters, mean and standard deviation, are unknown. The chosen reference distribution, against which the sample is compared, is the normal distribution. I have already created this table, which is still empty in parts. These two hypotheses are defined. The null hypothesis, H0, is that the population is normally distributed. The alternative hypothesis, H1, is that the population is not normally distributed. The chosen significance, alpha, is 5%. In the end, the null hypothesis is accepted or rejected. Now, let's start with the normal distribution test according to Kolmogorov-Smirnov. <laughs> 